Wow. After some research today, I found out I haven't been to a competitive tournament since 2003 after the release of Labyrinth of Nightmare. And today, we went to Nats. And no, I didn't go to compete. I went to collect. Um, we had a lot of fun. We found some good deals. We made some trades. We sold some cards, made a little cash, spent, spent that on more cards. And, you know, we'll show you what we got today. And we have some packs here to open up. But first, I mean... I mean, what is it? TCG player market price has Duelist Nexus at, I think, $43, but we found him for $35. We have a Photon Hypernova, uh, obviously for $55, I think. Photon Hypernova is sitting around like $67 right now. Could be very wrong. Uh, we'll probably be putting up here on the screen the actual market price. Uh, we took a trip to Press Play and saw they had some Terminal Revenge. So I took uh, the last of their 10 uh, packs. And while we were at Nats, uh, somebody just had a whole bunch of loose uh, Age of Overlord. Uh, chances are they've already cracked the case, pulled the QCR, pulled some of the better rarities. I really don't expect to find anything out of here, but if we do, Hey, that would be amazing. And with one of my purchases, just to round out the order, I snagged a couple of Phantom Nightmare. Start with this week's Whatnot purchases, because I obviously have an addiction. We have a beautiful Platinum Secret Rare Phantom of the Knights, uh, Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Big, gorgeous uh, PUR. Blue Jester of Despia. Out of the newest Infinite Forbidden set, uh, we did get a Ultra Rare Resilia, Sinister Soul of the White Forest. And we got some free packs of some, uh, I think it's Japanese or Korean, LOB. And uh, we got this beautiful Blue Eyes White Dragon. And with, uh, we're just gonna follow the, the Infinite Forbidden theme with some more Exodia. From Terminal Revenge. We have a Infinite Forbidden Tales of the White Forest. And a Beware of the White Forest. I think there's also Tears of the White Forest. But this is some of the cool stuff that I traded and bought. I do love my Exodia. So we wound up picking up this uh, DLG one, I think, for. 20 or 25 fairly minty beautiful uh, I think this is a mod play uh, hero barrier uh, for 5 bucks first edition from elemental energy oh yeah look at that stamping on the back you know for mod play I gotta say that's not too bad and we got this beautiful Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. Hopefully, I think I have one. If not, this is definitely an upgrade for the branded deck. This one came at $5, I believe. And then we also got a beautiful Rinbrum, the Striking Dragon. Another QCR upgrade for the branded deck. And the coolest thing of the day, you can make yourself into a token. How freaking cool is that? This is probably going to be the thumbnail. I was so excited. But hell yeah. Now, if you go to enough conventions, you learn. Keep a fan on you here in Texas. It's hot. It's humid. And this was the best, best worst thing I brought with me. Uh, one of the things I didn't think about. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! players aren't the best with hygiene. And there came a point in time where I was fanning myself and I realized that I was just fanning B.O. right into my face. Yeah. It was not a good time. But the crown jewel that we picked up today is this incredibly mint, absolutely stunning and gorgeous, ghost rare, dark magician girl. 
look at that. Holy crap. Beautifully centered. Not a single scratch on the surface. I was going to trade this for a Starlight Exodia piece. But I think this is going to be one of the first cards that I actually send in to get graded. It is absolutely stunning. They had it listed for 150. I traded some... I know I took a loss on this one, but I definitely traded some good cards to get this. And wow. I actually think I want to get that graded. It has... It's, it's not going to be a 10. There is a very, very, very small print scratch line right down here. I don't know if you can see it. It's very, very slight. But that might be a very strong nine. All right. I'm so happy I got that. Yeah, Trinity. Sorry, you're going to have to tell Jay to hold off because... I'm keeping that one. Now, can we get a Magia today? And we got Arbitration of White, Life Hack, and Georgius, Sprite Gamma, and Freezing Curses. We've seen enough Battles of Legends. I don't need to take my time. We got Pillar of the Future Cyanus, Toy Tank, Ice Jade Ran Edgerin, Egrin, Scrap Goblin, Alt Art Gen X Ally Birdman, we got White Circle Reef. Our Gen X Turing, Arms of Gen X Return Zero, Infer Pia uh, Infernoid Piatti. Can we get a Sprite Blue? Hey! Called it. I was hoping for a Sprite Blue. Like, hey, man, we got at least a few dollars. Here we got Life Hack. Void Breach and a Tri Brigade McCurrier. I think I might stick a second one of these in my deck, so that is definitely good to see. Sprite Jet and Ulti Minfalcos. You know what's missing? I did get a Starlight Exodia piece. Hold on. How could I forget? We also traded for him. Mm, mm -mm. I just need the other four pieces now. Oh my. A little card appreciation here. Also, beautiful thumbnail. I knew I was missing something out of what I was showing you guys from today. We got Guard Dog, White Circle Reef, A, Red Lotus King Flame Crime. I haven't pulled him yet. Beautiful. Infernoid Petrulia, Petrulia, Ritual Beast Ambush. Another guard dog. Division. Void Vanishment. I think this is another alternate art. Gen X Ally Axel. And Systemus. Sight Simus. All the S's. And a life hack. Gathering light. Speculation. 
as pretty as it is, isn't worth much. Spirit Converter. And Diviner of the Herald. Another ultra that we definitely want to see. Worth a little bit. And we got Toy Soldier. Electro Blaster. Ulti Gaia Paleo. Ritual Beast Ambush. Branded Sword. Frozen Domain of the Ice Barrier. Earthbound Resonance. Jameer Egerin. Infernoid Nunku. And Sprite Red. Alright. Orcus Heart Borer. Ritual Beast Ambush, Electrode Beast Cation, Division, and Return Zero. Okay, yeah, Pack Trick didn't do anything. It never does. Phantom, Nightmare. Alright, Raid Raptor Glorious Bright, Dark Element. Goblin Biker Boom Mock, Chunk Dragonlet, and Aroma Lilith Magnolia. Really pretty. Very pretty. Swallows Cowrie, Junglure Goost, Go uh, Ghoul Illusionist, Goost, Norlanius, East Ranger Big Bang. I was going for only one pack, but two came out. So, you know, you naturally get both, right? We got Dark Guardian. We got Ghost. Boom, Mock. Time Reloader. And Rise Rank Up Magic Raid Raptors Force. Nada. Fish Lamp. Emergency Port. Port. Uh, psychic Stuff. Nope. Reincarnation and Sorcerer of Sebek. There's a QCR SP Little Knight in here. Right, right. What is it? What is it? Manifest? Whatever that BS is. Just kidding. Well. Cursed Bride Doll, Asset Mountus, Play of the Testina, Transcendosaurus Exoraptor, and Seed Spitting Saplings. Alright. Again. Like, if we get anything out of these Age of Overlord packs, I will be incredibly surprised. Supreme King Dragon Lightworm, Watt Psychic Fighting Porter, Pendulum Evolution, Escape Goat, and Canopic Protector. Yeah, about part of the course road I expected. But you never know. I got Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, Starring Knight. Stars Align, Scapegoat, and Snake Eye Ash. Rose Papillon, Sharp Sarga, XYZ and Trust, and Realm Eulogy. Discordance of the Testina. Earthbound Servant Geo Grimlina, Tarai, Shino Baron Shade Peacock, and Vanquish Shoal Soul Xiaolong. Okay, so we at least got an Ultra. That is nice. Dodic Daybreak, Fallen of the Testina, Card Scanner, and UFO Light. 
Okay, so there's at least an ultra in here. What tuna? Stars align. Bold armor to XYZ. Supreme King Dragon Lightworm. And Kabesunef. Kabesunef. Protection of Horus. Okay. That just took me a second. Asset Mountus. Play of the Testina. Mixeraptor. Celestial King. And Burfamet. The mist. The, the mythical king of phantom beasts. Ah, boy, he looks mean. Rose Papillon. Star Ignite. Star is line. A scapegoat. Looking kind of familiar, huh? Discordance. And Embrace of the Testina. Geo Gremlina, Torai, okay, so we actually do have a QCR in here, uh, just kidding. I um, might have to go back tomorrow and get probably the rest of those Age of Overlord packs. Alright, Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, Pit Knight Philly, Full Armor XYZ, Evolution, EG Glaive Blaster. It's okay, so we got two Ultras and a QCR out of these. Um,. I did say there's a QCR in here. I had no freaking clue. I had no idea. That was just a wild guess. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw that it was an Xyz monster. So we didn't... Well, I'm pretty sure we didn't get the SP Little Knight. We still got a fucking QCR. All right. We got Lilla Rep. Wat Yuki. Miracle of the Supreme King. Exoraptor. And Synchro Rumble. Okay. So to end this amazing day, a beautiful birthday weekend celebration. Ah, uh, invasive alien species. The immortal Bushi mourns the mortal body. Startling stare of the snake eyes. Rose Papillon. You know Baron Shade Peacock. Play of the Testina and Testina, the divinity that defies darkness. All right, okay. Was not uh, SP Little Knight, but I can't believe we literally pulled a QCR out of straight random packs. I just grabbed 10 and I was like, I'm gonna take these. We're going back for the rest of them. Hopefully they have them there still. Wow. Uh, yeah, just a little bit more card appreciation before we end this video today. Goodness. Oh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It's so much fun. Hmm. You know what? You go hang out with your leg. You got some friends to join. 
Wow. Today was a ton of fun. I can't wait to go back. Hope I see my homie Mike out there. If you're watching, buddy, we'll get a picture today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy Nats. If you're out there, if you see me, feel free to say hi. Uh, Kelly, I saw you out there uh, today, Saturday. Hopefully, I get a chance to talk to you. Uh, Jay, from Fresh Off the Press, I'll be hitting you up in Discord tomorrow. Or, well, by the time you see it, it'll be today but i'm going to stop rambling because at this point in time you guys probably aren't even paying attention or will never see this but if you do I'll see you next time later